Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. If you're not saved, you know, get saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's the most important thing. One sin can send you to hell. Jesus was God in flesh form, God himself, the Messiah, walked a perfect life, never sinned. He laid down his, his life so that your sins, past, present, future, can be washed away. You need to admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. Put away your pride. Turn towards the cross and away from the world, counting on Jesus Christ and his blood atonement. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, he died, he buried, and he rose on the third day. We have to believe that. That's the gospel of our salvation. I'm going to continue the conversation around the Shemitah. Um, I'm going to talk about that in this video. I hope you find it really enlightening. Uh, we know that we're <clears throat> at the end of a Shemitah cycle. It'll, it'll end in the fall, the fall feast. And a new one will begin. Not only that, it's a special one. The fact that there's a ju it's a jubilee year, and the tribulation is seven years. And could it be that the seven year tribulation will begin in the beginning of what would be 2023 in the calendar with the new Shemitah? And then we're going to examine that today. I'm going to look at we're going to look at Stellarium. We're going to look at you know when is Feast of Trumpets, when is Day of Atonement, and when is Tabernacles? We're going to examine could this possibly be the year 2022 um, of the rapture or could it be that you know we need to wait seven more years we'll take a look at that here on this video so last time we talked about Shemitah we definitely mentioned it's a it's the seventh year of a seven year cycle and every 49th year you have what's called a jubilee year now a lot of thought is that the jubilee year will start in 2023 this fall after Rosh Hashanah, after the new year. And we're gonna examine that a little bit here today. We're gonna talk just about the times and the seasons. And we know by looking at the stars, there's a calendar, it's almost like a clock. You have 12 constellations for the 12 tribes. You have 12 constellations, almost like a clock. And the Revelation 12 sign, which appeared in September, a lot of people believe that's that was the seventh month. Well, if you look, um, you can see that it wasn't the month of Tishri. And the month of Tishri would have been in October. So was that a sign that we're coming into the point of the menorah, the calendar, the feast days of the fall, which Jesus will fulfill? And that was my thought on it. And so interestingly enough, when I look at the menorah, you have the spring feast, which Jesus fulfilled. He, he arrived in Passover, and he was a Passover lamb. He fulfilled unleavened bread, and he was the first fruits, along with the Old Testament saints that were, that were risen from the dead. And of course, we know what he did on that cross for us and our salvation by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And, but, he, but he fulfilled all those. And if you look, and then you have... Pentecost. Now, a lot of people like Pentecost for a possible rapture date. I think the Pente Pentecost was fulfilled, uh, or Feast feast of Weeks, Shabbat, whatever you want to call it, was fulfilled when the Holy Spirit came down. And so I think that's already passed. I think that's already happened on, on his calendar, on his timeline. And I'm going to go through some verses here in a little bit to talk about the fall feast. We know that the Jews were carried away captive by Babylon. We have Second Chronicles thirty six twenty and twenty one, and them that had escaped from the sword carried he away to Babylon. Verse twenty one to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah until the land had enjoyed her Sabbath, for as long as she lay desolate she kept Sabbath to fulfill three scores and ten years. That's seventy. So the reason they went away for seventy years was because they didn't keep the Sabbath year at the, the la and they at the last year of the Shemitah they they didn't not work the land they 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 bothered the land and so they did that for a period of 490 years and they had to go into captivity for 70 to pay for it so that the land would would lay desolate so looking again at the biblical holidays or feast days how did Jesus fulfill the first four we know he is death, burial, resurrection, and the Holy Ghost of Pentecost 50 days later. I talked about it. What's next to be filled? The Feast of Trumpets. 
First Thessalonians chapter four thirteen through eighteen tells us that at the la- and that rapture should take place according to First Thessalonians chapter four thirteen through eighteen when the one hundredth shofar blast would normally take place. Now that doesn't mean we're going to hear a hundred shofar blasts from Israel, but we're going to hear the the voice of God calling us out, come up hither. I think it's clear. God's calendar next is the Feast of Trumpets, and then we'll have the entire tribulation. will be atonement. Wouldn't that be interesting that the 11th Shemitah, seven-year period, would be the tribulation? The, the atonement period of time, in my opinion, will be the entire judgment of Israel. And again, the church will be judged at the judgment seat of Christ. And then follow that atom, um, tabernacles, excuse me, where he reigns with us. Note here, Tishri, the seventh month, will be the rapture. Will it be 2022? I'm, I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll have a new Shemitah coming up in this fall. We'll have the Jubilee year. If that's correct, I'm not saying it is. It could be off. But if it's correct, it would have a new Shemitah, a Jubilee year, as well as Hakel. Hakel is when all the children and women and men of Israel made the journey and it was in a jubilee year only that everyone came on those three holidays, those three feast days. You, normally it was just the men. So would that would this all come together in, in Tishri? And I'm, I'm interested to look at the stars to see. Let's take a look at that. So what we're looking at here is the Jewish months. We see Nisan there, and it shows you the, sol- the system that it should be in. Tishri should be in the scales or Libra. When we saw the Revelation 17 sign, it was in Virgo. And it's interesting to think that it looks like the calendar, and I don't have time to go out every night and verify the Stellarium calendar, but if Stellarium is correct, it's suggesting that the Jewish calendar is a month off. So something to consider and keep keep your eye on. If you know, And again, I'm not 100% saying... That, and again, it's based on the moon, sun, and moon cycle, but it looks like the calendar is one month off. So here we see Biblical Feast calendar for 2022, and you can see that the, the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah, they predict to be September 25th and 27th. And again, they're going to say 10 days later, the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur. And another five days after that, or 15 days later, they're going to claim October 9 through 16. If the calendar is off, then this certainly would not be. Now we're looking at the Revelation 12 sign in the heavens. And we're taking a look back in 2017 in September, where you had the moon at the feet of Virgo, Jupiter aligned with the sun, The scales that you see down here, Libra, would be the seventh month, not Virgo, according to what it's perceived to be. Tishri would be in Libra, the scales. We don't see the moon or the sun in Libra yet. That makes me wonder if the calendar, the clock in the sky is telling me that their calendars are wrong. And this will be September of 2022. We do see the moon and the sun lined up here, but the moon will slide down. Again, is in September, which goes with Virgo, not the scales, which is Libra down here. And I think that, again, confirms this year as well as 2017. And so they're off by, looks like, 30 days. And so we need to maybe keep that in mind when we look at these fall feasts. So looking at Stellarium, October 25th, you start to see the moon and the sun move into into Libra, or the scales, which would be Tishri, the next couple days. It would be Feast of Trumpets, if this is correct. And it makes me, again, I'm not saying 100% this is the case, but it makes me keep just keep that in mind that Feast of Trumpets, that people are going to think it's in September, could be in October. Food for thought. So what if the, the end of the Shemitah and the beginning of the next seven-year period, which is the 11th Shemitah, would be the tribulation, would be line up exactly with the seven-year tribulation, the Feast of, Trump, Feast of Atonement. What if that means Feast of Trumpets were out of here in a short period of time later, the trip begin, or on the same day if the Antichrist confirms the covenant with many. And then t- Jesus Christ returns to the second advent to tabernacle.
That's again, this is a what if, and those fall feasts we know need to be fulfilled. And I'm not saying this is the rapture year, but I believe that the rapture will happen in, a, in the beginning um, or end of a Shemitah on Feast of Trumpets. And so you'll have a full seven year period of time be seven years of, of a new Shemitah. So if it's not, if we are in a Shemitah year, not 100% sure on that, but it looks like we could be, then it would be possible this fall would make sense for the high watch for the rapture. I'm not saying it will be the rapture. Or maybe we have to wait seven more years. Again, 2023 or 2024, 2025 could be the Shemitah year. We could be off. But food for thought that I believe that there, you know, there's a high wash period of time. And September, you know, 27th is what they believe will be Feast of Trumpets. But is it in October 25th through 27th? And that is what, you know, I was showing you with Stellarium. Anyway, God bless. Hope you enjoy the video and have a great day.